Question five begins with a couple of straightforward uh, definitions. The first one here to state what is meant by the centre of gravity of an object. Well, the definition for that would be a point where the entire weight of the object appears to act. And part B asks to define the moment of a force. Remember, if a question asks you to define, it's usually looking for a word equation. So in this case, we would write that the moment of a force is equal to the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the pivot. Part C introduces us to a baby's mobile toy consisting of a horizontal rod with two objects hanging from it. Uh, we can assume that the weight of the rod is negligible and we know the weights of the two objects hanging from it. Essentially, this is a moment's problem. For part I states two conditions necessary for the rod to be in equilibrium. Well, the first condition would be that the force is up must equal the force is down, or another way of writing that would be to say that the net force is equal to zero. And the second condition would be that the clockwise moments are equal to the anti-clockwise moments, or simply the net moment equals zero. Part two asks us to take moments around A in order to determine this distance x. So in order to take moments, we will always do clockwise moments equal to anti-clockwise moments. So let's look at which of these objects is causing a clockwise moment. Well, this star here, S, will be causing rotation in this direction because it's pulling down on the right hand side of the rod. So therefore, we have a force here of 0 0.35. And we're going to multiply that by this distance here between where point where force S is acting and A. Now we don't know this distance, but we do know that it is equal to 0 0.50 take away distance X. So we're going to write it like this. 0 0.35 multiplied by 0 0.5 minus X. And that's going to be equal to our clockwise moments. Well, the clockwise moment here is caused by M and that is 0 0.15 two newtons multiplied by the distance x. Now let's expand out our bracket so we get 0 0.175 take away 0 0.35 x and that's going to be equal to 0 0.12 x. So we can again rearrange this we will get 0 0.175 equals 0 0.12x plus 0 0.35x which equals 0 0.47x so we can find x is 0 0.175 divided by 0 0.47 which equals 0 0.37 meters. And finally part III asks us to determine the magnitude of the tension in the string attached to A. So we've got a, we have a force acting up here from the tension and we have forces here and here acting down. Therefore we can say that forces upwards are equal to forces downwards because the net force is zero, it's in equilibrium. Therefore the tension, which we'll call T, is equal to 0 0.12 plus 0 0.35. So the tension is 0 0.47 newtons.